Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. So, we were just about to start the fifth floor. Well, we had, we had just started the fifth floor, I suppose you could say. And, uh, we're gonna go and find out what's in store for us. Now, as I was saying at the end of the last part, this is where things start to get a little bit tricky. You're going to get enemies that do, you know, full party damage more often and they're a lot bloody stronger and they do a shitload more damage than they used to. So, we gotta, we gotta start battle with that. Now, if I remember correctly, this is exactly one of those spots. Ah, shit, I forgot to make a start let's play save last time so I'm just gonna <coughs> just gonna use this and not touch the the start one okay Just gotta do this correctly. It's another one of those shitty puzzles. There we go. Now, as soon as I grab this key, there's gonna be doors opening, and uh, we're gonna be attacked. What we do is we go for a dive. <coughs> uh. Okay. Uh, there's a switch here. Okay, see that blue one? Yeah, that's the one we gotta watch out for. That's the one that does the the big damage. So we just gotta do what we do best and that is dodge like a bitch just keep moving don't let him get any sort of aim on you if you do that you're all good you're fine it's kind of the that's kind of the secret to beating a lot of the the enemies in this game you just gotta keep moving and don't let them have a chance to even turn to you. Otherwise, you're just gonna be in deep trouble. Um, there's a couple of enemies in this that actually do um, like full party damage, so you have to be kind of. You really do have to uh, be on your full guard when it comes to to taking them out. Okay, let's see. Well, we want to bring up his evasion anyway, so resist fire and shock a bit. And ah, sure, we'll go full on. Increase his health a little bit as well because you know <coughs> his health isn't exactly the best. Sorry, now I'm just trying to get my mic properly here. Now, yeah, there we go. It's much better. Um, okay, so. Just gonna save game again. Uh, now, so we're gonna be attacked by these things again. There's, gonna, there's two of them. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, okay, never mind. I didn't realize it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move back. And I'm gonna run down this way. Because I'm not sure. Ah, there he is. take him out and then we've got the the other one left uh -huh. there we go easy peasy well easy when you know what you're doing <laughs> okay let's see right we need to get him into armor anyway so we'll get him into the chitin armor 
or at least what I have of chitin armor. Alright, doesn't shoot I I think I can pretty much get rid of all of this now, to be honest with you. Here, uh, okay, I can get rid of that. That's light armor, that's light armor. Um Okay, yeah, I, I think we're pretty good with that. Okay, now I just want to see if there's anything in here. There's a knot. I preserved some of my extra herder caps in a nearby room. I'm not quite sure what the exact sequence of events was that opened the door, but I think I had to do three things. I'm certain that at one point I pulled the lever repeatedly, uh, leaving it in an upright position. Food hasn't gone bad. Okay, this. To be honest with you, this one I'm not 100% sure how to exactly do it. But I do it anyway. So it's just a case of kind of flickering around with, with this and that lever. So I'm going to do that, that. I'm just going to try this. It's just a matter of just flicking around with it. Um, if you get stuck with that, just try and, and copy exactly what I did there. And it should open up for you. Now these things are too much problem these days. They're pretty simple. Got a bigger one here. Okay, yeah, he's he used to toxic cloud. Okay. He's a, he's a tiny bit problematic. Not much, mind you, because you know, like my guys are pretty tough. Right now. The only one that's a bit of a worry is the mage. That's it. That's kind of the only worry one that I have when it comes to combat is the mage. There we go. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. We're doing pretty well. At the moment, sorry, there's a herder cap in there. They're quite heavy, those herder caps. So, I should probably eat a few next time. My guys have the munchies. Okay. So let's go have a look in that room, see what we can find. Torch is starting to burn out, so. Right, there's another herder cap in there. What do we have here? Okay, so we've got Conjurer's Hat. And uh, protection and willpower by two. Okay. Protection by one, willpower by two. Right, okay then. Now we're getting somewhere. Right. I'm thinking I should probably rest here for now. So I'm just gonna rest. Let my guys heal up, restore their health, and let the mage restore his energy. And um, we'll continue on then. Come along. His energy takes longer to restore than any of their health. Okay. Right, that, that should do it anyway. What have we got here? Lot. Just a couple of boxes with the, you know, show who's boss, too. Now, now it's this floor that we start to meet a very tough enemy, and we've already got a glimpse at him. If if you noticed, if you noticed him, one's in there. Um. And they're extremely tough. They are. They are tough. Right, there's two electric guys in here, so just gotta be on my guard. Gonna get this spell ready. Fire it. 
As soon as one gets in line. Now, here we go. Just gotta be a bit careful, because as I said, there is two of them. Ah, come on, guys. Start hitting them. Now we're in trouble. That's what I was afraid of it. Ah shit, I, I thought I said before going into that room. Oh well, I'm fine. It'll, it'll only take me a second anyway. Um Yeah, th those guys really do cause problems, but I mean there's not really much you can do. You just gotta keep moving with them and, and that's it and just hit as much as possible dish out as much damage as possible, but as I said, there's a couple of enemies like that that you gotta be aware of, and you just gotta keep moving. Um, there's one such enemy, I think, on the next floor, and it's actually, a, he's a real pain in the hole to kill. Um, well, I'm sorry, they are a pain in the hole to kill, because... just... As I say, you gotta keep moving, that's all you can do. There's nothing more you can do other than that. You just gotta keep moving. Don't let them hit you. To the best of your abilities. Okay, come on. Another one down. That just leaves the one blue, I think. Mr. Lightning himself. Come on, I know you're there. No point trying to play Kai with me. As I know that you are there. Ma. Oh. Booyah! No. No. Come on. There she goes. Okay. Now we're talking business. Right, okay. And a stone. Excellent. Tattered cloak. I think we all have clocks now. No, he doesn't. Strangely enough. Okay, we're gonna take a dive here. I should have just saved him. Ah! There's a note here. I know I was disappointed too when I took the jump just to discover that there was nothing useful here. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a wanker. There isn't actually anything here. Oh well. That was, uh, disappointing, to say the least. But, uh, sometimes you gotta take those leaps. Now, this is where the fun starts. These guys are not nice. They're extremely tough. And they do an extremely high amount of damage to you. What you're hoping to do when it comes to fighting these guys is dishing out your your slash ba bash and stab. Um, because the only way you're going to do any sort of significant damage to them is and they do significant amounts of damage to you. Now I need to, to, to move out of here because the other one's coming through. They're just quite tough. That's the problem. Got a lot of health, and they can dish out quite a bit of damage as well, and that's what makes them so bloody tough. You just, you just want to keep moving, and that's it. So that's what we're going to do. Just going to 
keep moving and not let this fucker hit me. <laughs> See, he just did 65 damage to me in one smack to my Minotaur. Which is a significant amount of damage when you think about it. Ah, shit. He hasn't got no energy to raise, so I'm kind of depending on the other tree now. Balls! Right, what we're going to do then is, since he's killed off him, I'm going to get him to come up to me, and I'm going to leg it. I'm going to go back to the stone. It should be reactive by now. There we go. Now, let's see how you fare against us. Just, you know, kill one of my men off and then just, you know, not do anything. Else. There we go. Now we're sucking diesel. Okay. I'm just after saving, so there's no point. No need to save again. And we're going to be coming across quite a few of them kind of guys as time goes on. Um, I'll give him that. I'll move that over here. So, yeah, okay, we're, we're good to go again. Right. So, we need to go this way. I'm still, I'm sorry, just keep my eye out for, you know, little switches and that. Because you just, you never know, there's always little hidden switches lying around. And you do want to find them. Now, there's something in there, and I'm not quite sure what it is, and I'm not quite sure how to get in there. I can't remember if I got in there before. Something. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I think I know how to get in there. I think I remember. If I am correct, there might be a switch of some sort here. Somewhere, maybe? Yeah. There we go. That's a fist. Him. Oh yes, now we're talking business. Right, I can just leave that down anyway. Kind of speed is it? It's got 12 attack and 20 speed, so that's pretty quick. Um, I need to get him wearing armor as soon as possible. It's going to be another few levels though, so we're going to have to just manage without him having armor for now. Okay. So that just brings me back here. Okay. Did I see something on the wall there? No. no it's just just a design on the wall. It's okay. Right now, I can't remember if there's anything here or not. I'm going to scroll here. What does this say? The gate of iron shall open if you take your time and rest in the place where the dragons gaze. Now, this. That is quite a fucking hint. It's quite easy when you think about it. It had me stumped for a little while until I copped on to it. Oh shit, I hate this. I really don't like this one. Um, right, so that's the iron gate and then that's the other one that I need to... Okay, I'm going through here first because I, I just don't like the other one. Deserted sort of tunnels, okay. Just do that. I, I I literally just detest <laughs> that other one. It, it's just more platform bullshit. It really is, and I don't like it. Now this is a is a little bit tricky. This one because what you gotta do is mind as well. Shit! You gotta get in there before it closes. gotta be quick. Now, the problem with this area that I'm about to go into, and I'm gonna make a danger save because of it, is um, once you go in there, you cannot get back out. Until you're done. So, I'm, I'm 
making us out of safety. See, there's no turning back, so... You just gotta go with this. And it's not easy because you're gonna be going up against the crabs and things like that. So it is actually quite difficult to do this. What do we have here? We've got a ring. I've already got them though. Now the problem here is that I'm starting to get a little bit overweight than everybody, so I might have to sort out my inventory before long. Now I'm gonna get my shock ready. And right, the danger save is just um a precaution I suppose you could say. So we're gonna go okay, so there's one of them little shits there, so right. It's not them little guys I'm worried about. another statue. Now if you remember it was talking about where the dragons gaze. Where does this bring me? Okay, that's the way out. Right, that's that's okay. That's handy to know. At least I have a backup. Now getting in there is a different story. I'm not sure if I ever figured out how to get in there. I don't think I ever did. Not sure. It might come back to me. I can't remember if I figured out how to get in there or not. Um, it'll, it'll come back to me if I do. Um, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything on the walls here. A grim cap. Wow, his inventory is full. Okay. Whoops! <laughs> Release the rage. Okay, let me see. There's nothing here, right? I know that these fucking crabs are gonna come out sooner or later. A war hammer. That's better than that. Now we're talking. I hear doors opening. Yes, here we go. Let the fun begin. Ow. What just happened there? How did I get hit twice? That is a bit worrying. I must admit. Ah, shit. It's just... It's, it's literally about just keep moving up. And you will be perfectly fine. I know it's it's one of those things it's easier said than done sometimes, but that is very true. But you just gotta do it. Uh huh. There's another fucking door. I'm not quite sure where. Ah oh, shit. As I said, this room is absolutely full of them. Full of enemies. Those little guys I don't worry about at all. It's these, um. It's the crabs that are. the creatures that worry me. I just have to be a little bit more agile than I have been. I don't think I have enough to cast another spell, no, I don't. Oh, come on! Did he drop a cap? He must have. Yeah, he does. Okay, 
Right, so we've got another crab to deal with. We've got another one of those little... Those little guys to deal with. So I'm just going to save my game. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> okay. Now, just going to keep moving. Gotta take this guy out. Come on. It does help when they actually hit him, of course. It doesn't help the fact that I'm literally just dodging around here and not doing any damage at all. Ah, that was that was a brilliant few whacks that was. There we go. Now we're really sucking diesel. Well, you know you're doing well when you can take out them. Guys. Okay. Come on. Excellent. I'm not sure if that's all this of these crabs, and I have to admit I'm not so sure. I'm not. Agreed. Um, but it's looking pretty good. Okay, that's the way I came. Alright, so I'm just making sure here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how to get into that uh, room. Oh, there's a bomb here. I don't think I've ever used them. Okay, so there's the other statue. So what we're going to do... Is I'm gonna mark down. Let me see. Crazy face. Right, okay, so dragon statue. I'm going to mark that down. And the other one is back here somewhere. Uh, yeah, he's he's back here somewhere. down. He's here, isn't he? Yeah, your statue is there. So it's where the gazes meet. So he'll be facing that way, he's facing that way, so it's right there, that's where the two gazes meet. So we have to sit there and we have to rest for a little while. And then the iron door will open. That's how this works. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to open that door. One key left to get. But first, right, we're going to just rest here. I think this is correct. Oh God! They make all the gates open and cause the traps to spring. It would be simple for them to stop us. Why w will they not do it? Are we walking into another trap of theirs? Be careful. Hmm. Strange. Come along. Now hopefully this should work. So I rested there now. And the door's open. Gling gling lurker vest. Is this light? Oh, it's not even light armor. My good fellow could use this. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here for this part, and we'll finish off this floor in the next one. Because we have to go through this horrible trap, and it's. I really hate this trap, I'll, I'll just be honest about it, or this puzzle, or whatever you want to call it, sorry. So, thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you, and have fun.